Good morning. Welcome back to the Statesman News Network. My name is Corey Knowles, and I'm here this morning with Stoddard County Clerk James Hendley. Mr. Hendley's running for his first elected term in office this year. Uh, he was appointed by the governor in January, I believe. Uh, late February. Late, late February. February yeah. That's right. Uh, and he's been serving ever since. Uh, tell us a little about yourself, Mr. Hendley. Well, I've been in Stoddard County all my life, except for when I went off to college, of course, and in the 70s, but uh, my family uh, came to this county around 1850, and they seemed to suit, suit them well. They decided to land here, and we've been here ever since, and don't intend on going anywhere. Well, that's We great. like Stoddard County. That's great. You've been here uh, about a year now, close to a year, not, well, yeah. right around there. What do you feel like you've accomplished since you've been here? Well, of course, I, I knew a little bit about this job when I came in, uh, but I ha I'd have to say I've learned quite a bit since I've been in here, and I still have a lot to learn. But uh, one of the things I feel like we've we've done is save the county uh, a good deal of money. On, we didn't do away with them uh, an employee, but we're working with one less an employee than uh, than we had before, okay. and uh, that saved the county quite a bit of money and. Uh, there's four of us in this office now, myself and three girls, and they do a terrific job. I've got some of the best office staff I think an office can have. They're really, really efficient. And uh, I know uh, I've been in here on a lot of election nights, and it gets it gets pretty busy. It does, but uh, you know, years ago, not, and not too many years ago, it took almost all night to count these votes. And we have an electronic voting machine now. We run a test run on those, and uh, it is very efficient and very fast. Uh, in the primary, I think we had everything, everything counted in the primary uh, by uh, 845, I believe, maybe a little sooner. Yeah, it and, was. And, and as soon as we get a precinct out, we bring it out here and then uh, bring it in there to the news area, and, uh, and they stack them up pretty fast. They do, huh? I'll vouch for that. <laughs> <laughs> Have you had any big changes since you've been in office as far as Well, I don't go? think any really big changes. Uh, one of the things is a constant problem is coming up with election judges. I needed some election judges, and uh, we had a, a little session, a training session for election judges last week. And uh, the area Dudley, for example, I meet both Democrats and Republicans in the in the Dudley area, and uh, all all precincts I, I still need a, a few extra judges. Okay, well that's great. If you're reelected to the clerk position, what do you see in the future? Well, I went to my annual uh, convention a week or two ago. And, and what they tell us is we will be seeing some changes. And, uh, and what I mean in changes, I mean a lot of the laws and, and what have you will remain the same, but the process of voting itself, it's bound to change. Uh, we have the, all this electronic technology and they, they gave some examples uh, of what might happen. We might have uh, people running computers, uh, and the votes when they come in are automatically counted as soon as they come in and by it would be faster than the process we have now probably but and they're also talking about mailing out ballots i don't know whether they do that now in some states or not but that that's also another another process and you know we could do away probably with some election judges if we do that and uh, that would that would help quite a bit because it is a problem to get election judges, it really is, and it's long hours. I bet it is. It sure is. Well, Mr. Hindley, I'd like to thank you for your time today and for, for letting us sit down and talk with you on behalf of us and the voters and wish you good luck in well, November. Uh, Corey, I'll, I'll have to say this, too. Uh, I ranched and farmed all my life, and, and I never saw myself in this kind of position ever. But I've been here now, and I've really enjoyed it. But this county has been good to my family. And it has been especially good to me, and I'd like to give something back to this county. Oh, that's fantastic. Well, right. good luck to you. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you.